Hello po everyone. Um, continue po natin ang ating lesson with decimals. And ngayon po gagawin natin ay um, yan. Mentally dividing decimals. This is by 10, by 100, by 1,000, 1 tenth, 100, and 1,000. Um, ano ito mga shortcuts? Mental. Kaya nga mental division or mentally dividing decimals. So, review muna natin ang multiplication of decimals. Yung mental computation, again, uh, as well, ha? Uh, multiplication by 10, hundreds, uh, 1,000, or powers of 10. Okay, so start natin with this one. Okay, so we have here 1.25 or 1 and 2,500 times 10. So, kapag ita times natin sa 10, yung any number, lalaki yan, di ba? So, originally, kung 1 yung number, in 1 dito yung decimal point. So, nagiging 10, nag-move siya ng isa. So, isang 0 or movement ng isang place. So, dito, ganun din ang gagawin. So, 1, one zero or 1 place, 1 place then. So, ang sagot natin dito would be 12.5. Ba? Okay, so yun yung na-take up natin with uh, multiplication of decimals by tens, hundreds, or the powers of ten. Okay, yeah. So let's have the, the next one. Okay, so if we're going to um, multiply it by 100, edi dalawang places na, diba? So 1, 2, dalawang zero. So this will be 1, 2. So sagot natin would be 125. Eh kung tatlo na, so this will be 1,250. Kasi tatlong movement na mula dito, 1, 2. So dagdag ng isang zero, diba? And then, uh, for if it's 10,000, edi magiging 4 na. Dahil apat yung zeros natin dito eh. Or apat na movement from here originally if it's 1. So, ang decimal point ang nag-move ng isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Kaya nga, apat na zero. Then, binibilang mo, diba? So, this is now, dagdag ka ng isa, dalawa, dalawang zero. Para magiging apat yung movement yan. So, this will now be 12,500. Right? So, kung it times natin with point 0.1, kabaligtaran ng mangyayari. So, any number, multiply mo with 10 lalaki, if it's 0.1 or 1 tenth, eh di baligtad, liliit siya. So, yung movement niya mula dito is isa, movement niya is isa. Kung tutusin, pareho lang ang movement kapag uh, magmumultiply tayo with powers of 10. Um, kung saan pupunta yung decimal point, pakaliwa, pakaliwa lang din ang movement ng decimal point natin sa ating product. So, sagot natin dito would be 0.125. Na dito, so dalawang movement na, di ba? So, this will be 1, 2, so dagdagan ng 0. So, this will be 0.0125. Again, dito yung decimal point, di ba? So, move natin ang dalawa. Isa, dalawa. Kasi, yung movement dito ng decimal point ay isa, dalawa din. Diba? Then, if it's 1,000, so, tatlong movement na. 1, 2, 3. So, this will, you, this will be 1 and then dalawang 0. So, sagot natin is mula dito, 1, 2, 3. Kaya, ito na yung sagot natin. ba? And then, the last one would be, so, mula dito, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So, mula dito, that's 1. E, eh, didagdagan mo ng tatlong 0. So, 0 point, tatlong 0, and then 1, 2, 5. Lang. Now, you know, have an idea kung paano gawin ang division of decimals. Kung anong ginawa natin dito, kabaligtaran lang. So, let's check it out, okay? Alright, so start tayo with dividing decimals by 10. So, any number, kung i-divide -di -divide, i -di mo ng 10, liliit yan. So, isang zero or isang movement, eh di liliit siya ng isang place lang din. So, ang movement ng, one na, ang, ng decimal natin dito sa 1, supposed to be, ay pakanan, di ba? Pero dito, dahil division ng gagawin natin, baligtad siya, pakaliwa ka. So, any decimal number multiplied by 
10 or decimals multiplied by 10, imbis na lalaki, dapat liliit yan. Kasi dinivide mo na 10. Ayun yung number, hatiin mo liliit yan. Divide mo by 10, ililiit talaga yan. So, ito, liliit siya. So, hindi mo na kailangan isolve. Pwede mo na idiretsyo na lang lipat yung decimal point, pakaliwa ng isa. Kasi yung movement ito ay isay. So, dapat lang iintindihin mo na ang mangyayari ay liliit siya. So, since liliit siya, dapat ang movement niya ay pakaliwa. Kasi liliit siya. Kasi kung pakanan ka, lalaki yung number mo. Magiging 3. Eh, hindi nga lalaki, di ba? Liliit. Kaya dito dapat yung movement niya. So, sagot natin dito would be Okay. 0.037 diba? Okay, another one So, another one uh, Movement again natin is pakaliwa Kasi divided by 10 pa naman So, this is now 0.125 Tama lang kasi original dito diba? So, isang movement Yan. And then, another one Divided by 10, isang movement lang din Kasi isang 0 yan So, isang movement This will now be 1.59 and then, ito rin isang movement, pakaliwa kasi liliit siya so, imbis na 802, magiging 80 na lang, so this is now 80.21 diba? so, to divide decimals by 10 move mo lang yung decimal point one place to the left so, one place to the left Oh, so, ulit, mula dito, isa, mula dito, original here, originally here, nasa 1, pakaliwa, isa, and then, mula dito sa 5, pakaliwa, isa ulit, and then, mula dito sa 2, pakaliwa ulit, isa, alright? So, isang movement lang, if you're going to divide, a decimal by 10. Now, dividing decimals by 100, eh di dalawang movement na, mula dito isa, dalawa, ba? So, dalawang movement na, pero pakaliwa ulit, kasi nga liliit ito. So, this will now be, so mulang dalawang movement dito, isa, dalawa, so this will now be 0 0.0015. And then, another one, dalawang movement ulit, so this will be 0 0.0015. 0 kasi dalawa, 3. Diba? So, 0 0.0329. Then, dito, dalawang movement ulit. So, dito na yung, ano mo, decimal point mo. So, this is now 0 0.999. And then, ito rin. So, 1, 2. So, magiging 2 na lang ito. 2.358. Diba? Okay. So, to divide decimals by 100, move mo lang yung decimal point two places to the left. Dali lang, di ba? Shortcut lang ito. Pero kung nalilito, uh, subukan mo isolve. Lalabas lang din tong sagot na to. Pero, um, kung alam mo na yung shortcut, hindi huwag mo na isolve. Di ba? Diretso na lang yan eh. Okay. Now, next, we have... Division of decimals by 1,000. So, tatlong movement na ito. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. ba? So, again, dapat tandaan lang ha. Liliit ang number mo nito. So, dahil liliit ang number mo nito, pakaliwa ang ating movement. So, mula dito, isa, dalawa, tatlo. Kaya tama yung sagot natin. Another one. Okay. So, supposed to be dito. ba? Ang decimal point. So, isa, dalawa, tatlo. Okay, and then this one, mula dito, isa, dalawa, tatlo. And then, another one, so dito originally, diba? So, isa, dalawa, tatlo. Okay, so, madali lang, diba? So, to divide decimals by 1,000, move the decimal point three places to the left. Okay, lino. Okay, now, ito na ngayon ang kabaligtaran. So, dividing decimals by 0.1. So, kung i-divide mo yung any number by a whole number liliit, eh kung i-divide mo na ang isang whole number or kahit decimal ng decimal, hindi na yan liliit. Lalaki na yan. So, baligtad na to ngayon. So, mula dito originally ang, originally ang decimal point ng 1 sa gilid, diba? Eh, nag-move siya ng isa pakaliwa. So, eto ngayon, lalaki na to, hindi siya pakaliwa, pakanan. 
Kaya nga isipin, ano ba ang mangyayari? Liliit ba o lalaki? Para alam mo kung saan papunta ang movement mo. Papunta ba sa kanan o papunta ba sa kaliwa? Now, since alam mo na lalaki yung number mo, kasi nga kung i-divide mo by 10, liliit. E di kung i-divide mo by 1 tenth, hindi dapat lalaki siya, baligtad. So, this will be 3.7 ang sagot mo. Diba? And then, another one. So, one movement ulit ha, isa. So, one movement, isa, lalaki ito. So, this will now be 12.5. And then, ito ay magiging 159. Kasi mula dito, pa kanon, di ba? And then, this one will be magiging 8,021. Right? So, dali lang, di ba? So, to divide decimals by 0.1 or 1 tenth, move the decimal point one place to the right. Okay, so right. So let's have the next one. Okay, this time we were we will uh, divide it by one hundred or point zero one. So ang movement nito ngayon ay dalawa mula dito isa dalawa. Para mo lang binibilang yung decimal place nito eh. Okay, so isa dalawa. So movement nito dahil lalaki siya isa dalawa. Basta tandaan lang lalaki ba to or liliit para alam mo saan punta yung movement mo. So, since alam mo na lalaki ito, dapat pakanan ka. Lalaki dapat ito. So, yung sagot mo dito would be 15. Ito, ulit, lalaki siya. So, this will now be 329. And then, this one will, it will be 9,990. Kasi mula dito, isa, and then dagdag ng zero. And then, dito, dalawa din. So, isa, dalawa din. Dagdag ka ng isang zero. So, this will now be 23,580. Okay. So, mabilis lang, di ba? So, to divide decimals by 0 0.01, move the decimal point to places to the right. Okay? Now, next, last one. Okay, dividing decimals by 1,000 or 0 0.001. Okay, so, ilang movement na? This will be 1, 2, 3. So, tatlong movement na, di ba? Kasi tatlong places na yan eh. So, lalaki na siya. So, pakanan tayo ng tatlong places. So, this will now be 1, 2. So, dagdagan natin ng 0. So, this is now 100. 20. Ito, tatlo rin. So, 1, 2, dagdagan ng 0. So, this is now 7,330. And then, ito, isa, dalawang 0. Ang idagdag mo kasi isa lang to eh. Para magiging tatlo, dagdagan ng dalawang 0. So, this is now 81,500. Kasi dito siya eh, di ba? And then, isa, dalawa, tatlo. And then, this one will be, ganun din, tatlo, isa, dalawa, dagdagan ng zero. So, this is now 411,110. Kasi, one, two, three. Right? So, um, to divide decimals by one thousand or point zero zero one, move the decimal point three places to the right. Okay? Madali lang, di ba? Okay. Let's have some practice exercise. Um, ano lang po itong ginawa ko? Isang uh, table. So, if ever you're going to answer, uh, pause the video. Okay? Kasi lalagay ko lang din yung answer um, by ano na lang. By, by column. Right? Okay? So, the first column would be divided by 10. So, try and answer it. Okay? And these are the answers, right? Sana nakuha, ha? And then divided by 100. So, pause the video if you're still going to answer. Okay, and then these are the answer for um, dividing or division by 100. Right, so next one is divided by 1,000. So, ano ngayon ang sagot dyan? Okay. Tandaan lang kung tata, uh, lalaki ba or liliit. Alright? And then, the answer is alright? Okay? So, next one is by 110. 
So, divided by 1 then. Okay. So, liliit ba or lalaki? Okay. Sana tama yung sagot. And then, the next one is by 100. Okay. Alright. And then, the last one is by 1,000. Okay. So, sorry. Hindi na nakita yung mga apat na numbers. Okay. So, thank you for watching everyone. Sana natuto ha. Lalo na yung mga bata. Thank you again for watching and um, stay tuned for the next uh, video on decimals. Thank you.